In today's video, we're going to explore a couple of exercises I've been doing specifically for my shoulders lately. You will need a door frame that you can lean in and out of with your hands on either side, and you will also need a wall that you can stand in front of and spread out your arms. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy, and if you're new here, I make videos every week helping musicians with their music and wellness. Today's video is another installment of our physical warm-ups specifically designed for musicians. Okay, let's get to it. For the door exercise, we're going to use our breath, and we're going to place our hands on the back of the door frame. So obviously you want the door open away from you. Your elbows should be at shoulder height and just put your feet where they, have, where they feel comfortable. And whenever you go into a stretch, you want to be releasing the air because that is where your body releases tension. And the goal of a stretch is to release tension. So here, it's somewhat of a static stretch, but I like to turn it into something a little bit more gentle and dynamic so that I can use it toward the beginning of, of warm-ups before I practice because it really opens up across the chest and through the armpit. And you don't ever wanna do static stretching when you're not already warm. I am a little bit warm right now because I've been doing a few things, so, I'm gonna start here. If you're not, I would recommend starting with some breaths, some gentle arm circles, maybe a few squats, and then come to the door. So the door, elbows at shoulder height. You're gonna breathe in while you're standing up, and then breathe out through your mouth while you lean forward for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back in, breathe in, and I like to pause in between and see if I can feel the blood start to rush through my arms. I feel it all the way in my fingertips, so I hope you do too. Okay, and I do this up to 10 times, so just breathe in. Start breathing out before you go into the stretch and that will help it be really easy in your body. So breathe in, breathe out, lean as you continue to breathe out. Breathe in, release. Breathe out, lean forward. Try to keep your, tin, your chin tucked slightly so that your spine remains long. And then breathe in, come back. Breathe out, lean forward. And you're not trying to stretch forward as far as you possibly can, just until you feel the stretch. Don't push this. This is not meant to be an extreme movement. Then we come back. So you're looking for the start of the stretch and just sit there. And if you continue breathing out and it feels good, then push a little bit, but that's all. Really, don't, don't make your goal in these stretches to stretch the farthest you've ever stretched every single time. That's going to cause tearing in your muscles and could cause some other issues with your tendons and connective tissue. Okay, let's move on to the wall exercise. In this portion, find your favorite wall or something that you like to look at. <laughs> I find once I get used to it at the wall, I do it away from a wall, but this helps you to not push your hands forward for this exercise. So uh, when I'm really close to the wall, it just kind of messes with my vision. It's uncomfortable. So find a wall where you can practice this a few times until you get the hang of it. And I removed my jacket because I want you to see the part of my shoulders that I'm moving. I'm actually moving my shoulder blades slightly down my back, away and down my back. I'm not moving my arms backward. So you'll see what I'm talking about in just a moment. So pay attention to how my shoulders are moving and not just my hands coming away from the wall. So what you're going to do is sort of like making snow angels or 
sand angels wherever you happen to live. You're gonna stand pretty close to the wall and with your palms facing the wall, you're going to make big arm circles out, big fans I should say, outward and up, okay? And now you're going to go pulse very sl um, slightly away from the wall. This is a small movement. So don't worry if your hands only move a half an inch away from the wall. Okay, and then you come back to the wall, keep out and go all the way down. So you wanna do this um, 10 times for two or three rounds. So we're gonna go, we got our shoulder blades, our scapula, our wings <laughs> are, are relaxed down and we're moving from our shoulders till our arms are over our head and then with the scapula slightly back and down and then back toward the wall and out again so let's do a few with me so out up keep the hands face palms facing the wall back back to the wall and down so out shoulder blades are down hands over your head and now pulse backward and toward the wall. So this, if you do this a few times, it might help you feel where this is. Sometimes I'll help, I'll use my um, elbows to help feel this down, but I'm really sensing this right in here. So I'm up, back, back to the wall, and down. And so this is also a movement that you don't want to do very quickly. But what I do is I come easy up, pulse backwards, and back down. Out and up, pulse back, out, down. Up, pulse backwards, and back down. A few more times, up, pulse, up, pulse, down. And you can see as I'm lifting, I'm not going like this, okay? It's actually kind of challenging. So you can do a few shoulder shrugs backward down to get a sense of where they should be here, okay? release relax down so as i'm lifting arms out i'm thinking shoulder blades down shoulder blades down arms out back down shoulder blades down hands palms facing the wall and then back down okay that's all for today thank you so much for watching this video Again, my name is Amy. I make videos every week helping musicians with their music and wellness. Definitely stay tuned, like this video, subscribe to my channel, let me know what's going on for you, let me know how I can help you, and I'll see you in the next one.